Hi everyone! Welcome to another introductory video from the MLS. My name is Neil and I'm the marketing coordinator here. Today, I'm excited to introduce you to the updated contacts section of our new system, Vesta Plus. Our new contacts section makes it easier than ever to update your address book. It allows you to add contacts on the go, search contacts by name, and even import CSV and TXT files. Now let's get started. First, log into your account, then click on the Alpha Release 3.0 button in the Searches portlet. You can also click on the Search tab at the top and find an Alpha Release 3.0 link at the bottom of the drop-down menu. From here, you'll see your new Contacts dashboard. It's placed at the top left by default, but as with the previous system, you can easily move each dashboard around to your desired position. To access your contacts dashboard, click on Access My Contacts at the bottom left portion of the contacts window. You can also access your contacts dashboard by clicking on the Contacts tab at the top of the page. Once you've reached the contacts dashboard, you can add or delete contacts by clicking on the icons at the top of the page. In order to add a contact, you will be required to enter an email address at the very least. The name, phone number, and note fields are all optional. In the notes field, you can add personal notes for yourself, such as a birthday or favorite basketball team. You can also select a role for each contact, such as buyer, seller, other agent, prospect, broker, and so forth. You can either type in a name manually or you can upload a TXT or CSV file of your own. If you choose to upload a file, it must contain a first name, last name, and email address. You also have the ability to export your contacts from the system so that you can store them for yourself. To the left, you'll see the contact's name, phone number, date that their profile was created, and a last seen timestamp that shows when they last viewed their dashboard. Once you've added a new contact, you can invite them to opt in to emails from the MLS system. Upon adding that new contact to receive emails, a confirmation window will pop up, indicating that your email was sent successfully. You can also check the opt-in status for each contact. The status is shown are self-explanatory as follows. Not invited, which means you've not yet invited the contact to opt in to receiving emails. Pending, which means you've sent an invitation but the contact has not yet responded. Opted out, which means the contact has rejected your invitation. And opt-in, which means the contact has accepted your invitation. You can resend invitations to contacts in the pending and opt-in status by clicking on the airplane icon immediately to the right of the status. However, you cannot resend an invitation to a contact that has already opted out. To the right of the screen, you'll see the ratings field along with a count for each rating. This field indicates how your client has rated each listing that you've sent them. The heart icon is for favorite properties, the question mark icon is for maybe properties, and the X icon is for rejected properties. Clicking on any one of the rating icons takes you to a list of properties that have been rated within that respective category. To the right of the ratings field, you'll see an icon of a person. This is the client dashboard icon. The client dashboard is an index of listings and saved searches you've previously sent to a client, shared listings, which are property report emails and texts you've previously sent to a client, and ratings that a client has assigned to the listings they've received from you. For a more in-depth introduction to the benefits of the client dashboard, please see our client dashboard introduction video linked in the description. It's important to note that most fields within the Contacts dashboard are sortable, so you can organize them to your liking. Any field that is sortable will show a small arrow to the right of the field name. 
You can click on these arrows to sort each field in ascending or descending order. You can also click on the filter icon at the top to filter your icons by opt-in status and the role that you've assigned to them. You can also search your contacts using the search bar at the top right. Once you reach your search results, you can sort them by ascending or descending alphabetical order. And that concludes our brief overview of the contacts section of Vesta Plus. If you have any further questions, please feel free to call our help desk. Be sure to follow us on social media for more news and updates. Thanks for watching.